hello everyone welcome back to another video so guys in this video i'm going to show you how to fix shareplay is not working on ios 16 so shareplay allows you to watch movies listen to the music or share the screen with your friend for your first time so guys i'm going to show you how you can fix this problem if your shareplay is not working on your iphone so let's get start the video without wasting any time so first thing is first first make sure that you have updated your iphone to the ios 16 as it's out now and the next step is my guys make sure that your share play is enabled and uh, if you don't know how to enable it you can go to the face time and enable your share play and make sure that you check your app which your app are using so make sure that app is supports your share play and uh, also check the participants device then the guys next step is and make sure that you have the good internet connection and you can test your speed like on the first.com you can test your internet speed here make sure that you have a good internet connection so the next step is guys force restart your device you need to restart your device once go to general click on shutdown and just shut down once and turn on your iphone again it might fix your problem and guys the next step is reset your iphone network setting so if you have tried all the method and none of that work then just simply go to transfer and reset click on reset click on reset network setting enter your iphone passcode and reset the network setting so i'm going i'm not going to reset it because my share play is working perfect so so after all these step if your uh, share play is not working then go to the setting click on screen time click on content and price restriction click on allowed app and see if there is share play is allowed if it's not just turn it on so guys after all this step your share, share play should be working and if it's not working you need to restore your restore your device so before you restore your device make sure that you make your backup and restore to factory default so hope you guys like this video if you do guys leave a like and comment thanks for watching guys